This is Professor Pelton. This is part six of chapter two, part six, section six. So we now are needing to check for extraneous solutions, which we also did in the uh, radical section of solving equations. This is solutions aren't actually valid, but using the, the correct solution uh, method. So LCD slash LCM. Okay, so we have to factor this first. That's x minus one, x plus one. So the question is, what do they have in common? Well, they have an x minus 1 in common, and they have an x plus 1 in common. Okay, Because, again, what's in common is between some of them, not necessarily all of them, and there's nothing left over between all three of those. So let's rewrite the problem now. So negative 4x over x minus 1, and then plus 4 over x plus 1 equals negative 8 over x plus 1 and x minus 1. Okay, so a box each side, or brackets of each side. So we're going to multiply each side of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which is x minus 1, x plus 1. And again, the order doesn't matter. If it's x plus 1, x minus 1, it's not going to matter. Oops, the x didn't show up there. Let's try that again. Okay. So on the left side, this times the negative 4x will cancel an x minus 1. So I'm left with negative 4x, x plus 1. And then this times the 4 will cancel an x plus 1. So I'm left with plus 4x minus 1, because obviously the x plus 1s cancel. And on the right-hand side, I'm left with negative 8, because all of this times this will cancel the denominators, like so. Okay, so we have negative 4x squared minus 4x plus 4x minus 4 equals negative 8. So if I simplify that, I get negative 4x squared minus 4 equals negative 8. So this is clearly an isolation problem because I only have one power of x, so I don't need to factor here. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides using isolation. So negative 4x squared equals negative 4 because that's level 4, right? Add and subtract. And then divide by negative 4. Right? That's level 3, correct? Which is multiply and divide. So x squared is 1. So level 2 is exponents and radicals. So I'm going to square root both sides. So x equals plus or minus 1. Well, if you look back at the original problem, if I plug in 1 or negative 1, I'll get zero denominators. So that means that neither one of those are solutions. So those are both extraneous, right? Those are both extraneous solutions. It's actually an empty set. There's no solution to this actual problem. All right, pause the video. Try the next one for yourself. Okay. So we need to find the lowest common denominator here. So we need to factor an x out of here first. I'm left with x minus 2. So what do they have in common? They have an x minus 2 in common, right? And they have an x in common. Ooh, that didn't work out too well. That is not an x. Let me try that again. OK, so they had an x minus 2 in common. They have an x in common, right? They have an x in common. Okay, so let's rewrite the problem. 3x plus 2 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x equals negative 2 over x, x minus 2. So we'll bracket both sides. And we'll multiply by the lowest common denominator on the right and on the left. Okay. So when I multiply on the right, the x minus 2 is going to cancel and leave me with x times 3x plus 2. And then multiply to the 1, that's going to cancel the x, so I'm left with plus 1 times x minus 2. And then here, it's going to cancel everything, I'm just leaving me left with a negative 2. Okay, so if I distribute, I get 3x squared plus 2x plus 1x minus 2 equals negative 2. So I clearly have multiple powers of x here, so I have to use factoring strategy. So this is 3x squared uh, plus 3x minus 2 equals negative 2. So if I add 2 to both sides here, I'm going to get 3x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. 
All right, so I'm going to factor out a common factor, which is 3x. And I'm going to be left with um, x plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, the other way to think about this is if I have 3x squared plus 3x plus 0, right, I can factor 3x, 3x over 3. So 3 times 0 is 0, so there are infinite things that give me 0. So I want 0 times 3, because added up to 3x, right? So that's going to give me 3x plus 0, and then the 3 can come out of there, leave it with x plus 1. And those will cancel. And what you notice is these two things are exactly the same. So they do factoring or factoring out, you end up with the same answer. So 3x equals 0, and x plus 1 is equal to 0 in either case. So if I divide by 3, x is 0, and if I minus 1, x is negative 1. Okay, so if I go back to the original problem, I cannot plug in 0, because if I do that, it gives me a 0 denominator. I can plug in negative 1, though. That actually will work. So that's extraneous, and this is my actual, my actual solution. Okay, so negative one's the solution. That is the end of part six.